Do Wait, we... so what were we even talking about? What did that guy do again? He went on Ashley Madison and had too many Yeah, so what happened? Ashley Madison got hacked, and the hackers said either shut down your site and stop supporting extramarital affairs. Isn't right? that the fucking worst, like, moralist hackers? Aren't you tired of that shit? Like, I, 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 they... I don't personally need to use Ashley Madison, but I don't actually care that it exists. If there wants to be an outlet where people who are so fucking useless in their marriages, they can't communicate their sexual desires to their partner, have, have an outlet for that and they want to reach out for that and they have some vicinity to do that. Do we really need hackers like being all moral about this and rubbing their face in it? Fuck you. Like, back off. Like, yeah. Like, it also is a piece of shit service, though. Like, to facilitate yeah. the ruining of lives. At the lives. same time, I'd rather it... they do that than spend their time hacking things I care about and no. use services. No, here's the problem, and, it's the, it, it, and this, is, this works with everything. If you say, ah, oh, it's okay to go after Ashley Madison, because I don't agree with them morally, then all of a sudden, next time, maybe they're going after something like Reddit. And, and then there's a whole other group of people who'll say, like, Reddit, isn't that that site where they hate on women and fat people? Fuck it, let them let them burn that site down. And uh, you've got to speak up for for rights. And I agree with you. Like I don't like it. I don't like the service. I feel feel like it's a really dirty kind of skeevy thing. Um, and Life's and short, most have an affair. I feel like most people are using it to like get around their uh, partner's back. Now, if it were a case of people using it, if it were if it were like. In their commercial, even it's like it goes like this. It's like the husband finds the wife's account on her iPad. He said, "What's the, he says? What's this?" And basically, they have this converse, conversation where she says, "We've got all these reasons to stay together, but I don't have those feelings for you anymore. Maybe you should make an account." And he's like, "Hmm, maybe I will." And that's their that's how they advertise. And in that and it starts scenario, off I don't with care. a lie, though, right? Like, what the hell he kind of fairy tale account, you know? use of that product uh, is that? I guess I'm kind of just I'd have to come down on the side of anything that gives options to consenting adults who have any fucking sexual need they want that they can be found with other consenting adults, I'm kind of for. So, like, I, I can't be against that site just in of itself. Yeah, you can have some shitty circumstances where one partner doesn't know about it and the other one does, and that's a bit of a problem, right? But that's a problem inside the relationship. I feel like that's the common use case, though. That's the most common use. This is so uh, – th the way they sell it is it's a, mar it's a marriage or it's an open marriage where one person – they can do this type of thing. That's so the, the yeah, minority, that's, though. It's like plausible yeah. deniability so they can it's say, their oh, that's what is this is supposed to be Life for. Life is short, have an affair. That's their tagline. I don't care what the commercial is. That's their tagline. Like, I don't yeah. care. It, what does that affair it, mean? Their tagline was life what is short, like mean? cheat on your no, wife. No, seriously, what does that affair mean? Like, are we are we talking of an ex, like an external, like ex, external from your relationship? To your me, primary I, relationship? affair means that it's not like your your. It's not consensual. Your, it's, yeah, your your spouse doesn't. Uh, is doesn't a sexual line up relationship, with this. romantic friendship, or passionate attachment between two people without the other spouse knowing? Cheating. There yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, and I don't like Ashley Madison because I feel like. You know, there there are two roads you can take, right? One's kind of hardish where you need to open up to your partner and tell her what you're looking for and et cetera. And the other's kind of easiest where you go on Ashley Madison and you find some stranger. And they make that easy route even easier. And, uh, and uh, you shouldn't just grease the slides towards ruining lives. Sure. And, and I don't that's think, what they do. I think we all think it's a dirty oh, thing. But the I question don't is... I don't know sure. that... I don't know if the, the, the burden comes down on Ashley Madison, though, right? They found some niche where they make some money off this and they find some people willing to do this. And I, I don't know that we can step back and say the site shouldn't facilitate that. I don't, well, how far can you take that? that? Can you start like, a cult you and be like, hey, I no, so I've got a cult here porn. and I brainwash people and I come them in and I get them in. They think I'm a god. They, they give me all their money. And, you know, but it's, dude, it, it was They're their consenting choice. consenting to that. Yeah, they consented consent to that. that. That's legal. I, I, that I'm would be the sure next I, level. Cults, I'm pretty sure that you can do that. I don't think yeah, that cults are I'm not are saying it's illegal. Like, I don't think the government be. shuts you down just because you start a cult. Okay, right? what about... They, 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 they trust okay. you enough as an I'm making a right go, and wrong. I shouldn't fucking be there in this cult because this is a I, waste of my time. I'm making a right versus wrong argument here. And, and the cult, illegal or not, I'm not sure, but... It's certainly immoral, and Ashley Madison certainly immoral. They're they're, but, they're no, providing no, but a service that ruins subjective. lives. That's an opinion, and I don't think you should. You're I don't in think luck. You should be legislating. I know what's moral morality. or not. Um, we're not you talking about morality. legislation. <laughs> yes, you know what's moral for you, and what's and, 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 it, and I don't. I don't, I don't know who's arguing morality. that we need legislation against Ashley Madison. We were arguing whether or not 
Ashley Madison was good or bad, right? You were arguing whether or not these the hackers I, were I doing a good or bad service. But I think you can say good or bad in general. I think you can say good or bad based on the circumstances, good or bad. And for me, for my personal morality, that comes down to consensuality, right? So when it is the, the, the girl or the guy going behind the other person's back and fucking their relationship, that sucks. That's really, that's really bad. For my morality, that'd be negative. Yeah. But if you look at it, this is a site to facilitate sexual encounters between a consenting adult I don't give a fuck what their relationship is. If they're in a relationship and they go, we're husband and wife, and we want an external outlet for sexuality, more power to them. Well, and I don't see, think it shouldn't be, to be illegal, happy. but the reason that we're having a problem with it is because it's not espousing to just be a way for consenting adults to hook up with each other. Because if that was their business model, they would do that. There's already hundreds yeah, we, of sites like that. Yeah, they're, preying, they're preying on people who are in this situation trying to exploit the bad feelings that they're having about their current relationship. So it shouldn't be illegal. Their information shouldn't have been spilled out there. But it is a kind of a piece of shit service as far as ruining lives. Well, see, what's the difference between using Ashley Madison and using Tinder, which is just a hookup app? It's because there's anonymity and skeeviness with using Ashley Madison because they propagate it. Yeah, it's because you don't want the the other person to know. Filthy's arguing against points that nobody's making. He's saying, I don't think it should be legislated. Yeah, no one here said that. And, you know, you're like, well, I think that if there's consenting adults in a marriage and they want to do this, then they should be able to. Yeah, everyone loves that. But the point is, Ashley Madison is marketing and actively going after people who are thinking about whether or not they should make a terrible mistake and ruin a family. And, These and they're on just the fence pushing about them it. off the edge, pushing them over Jesus. the edge by, I mean, by I greasing like the slide. I get slide pushed off the edge by, by, by advertising or I by think people suggesting this. You're not yourself. on the edge. That's why. But it, it, you know, it puts you in a marriage that's whatever so many years in. If, and if I want to cheat on my girlfriend, I don't need a site to go do that, right? Well, and the fact that I have a site that makes it easier doesn't do anything except for the fact that I've already made the decision in my mind and now I have an outlet for that. And I don't think you should legislate or... Or hack, which is the, co- the the initial topic of the conversation, right? Well, that's like saying is, I, don't I don't need to hack that point for that because I don't need to buy difference. I don't need to buy toe clamps. Bad example, a MacBook Pro and this, but because it's so easy and I get two day free shipping on Amazon Prime, I spend a lot more money. That's whole that's Amazon's business model is because it's so easy and quick that you buy shit you don't need. Yeah, and then they'll advertise right on the porn sites to catch you when you're in that most vulnerable state, right? So you, here you are, you're this guy, you're unsatisfied in your marriage, you're jerking off, and then Ashley Madison says, "Why are you jerking off? You could be fucking these girls." That's their their marketing strategy. It doesn't sound evil to me. That just sounds like they know what the fuck they're doing. Well, you they, know, like, yeah, they do. I but think it... that you're particularly sensitive to this one because, uh, and, and but I don't think it's any different than any of the millions of other companies that that do the exact same thing. You don't think Gatorade wants to uh, appeal to you when you're thirsty? Right, like, that's true. The, it, countless it, marriages lost. They're, <laughs> facil- <laughs> they're facilitating a, a, a process. True. But I don't think that makes them evil. They can facilitate the process as much as they want and up until, and, and, and until it becomes a legality thing. I got nothing against Ashley Madison, even though I think that doing that is wrong. But it's not, it's, it's not for me to judge them. It's, That's right. It's, it's your personal morality. You make your decisions. And fuck it. We don't need to, we don't say, need to legislate or hack the site because of that. Let's say hypothetically I no, went next level. Nobody's saying that the hold site on, should on, have been on. hacked. Let, let's, yeah, no, we're not talking about that. If, let's say that I ran a site that taught you to murder your rival. Right okay. here, here it is. I did it. You might not know anything about being an assassin right now, but I'm gonna coach you on this thing. Use a knife because it's so much easier to you just wipe your fingerprints. There's no things on every cartridge. Whatever. Like I don't even know how to assassinate someone very well. But let's say that I take you through the process of killing someone and not get caught. Right. Okay. You you just facilitated uh, you know someone's cr- a criminal act. Yeah, it's it's, right. it's a revenge based. You know, here's how to murder someone that you don't really like thing. I don't think you could say, that site's fine, really. I don't feel pushed over by the edge on this. No. Seriously? I am greasing the slides towards helping you commit murder. I don't I think that's come, a fair I comparison. Come down on the other side. So I you, yeah, I got no problem with that website. Side. Those websites exist. Yeah, exactly. They bomb they exist. So there's sites stuff. for like committing suicide or other things like this, right? There's stuff out there to facilitate shit that I would be very much personally against. And my personal morality would say, don't fucking touch that shit. But I, I don't think we should be cracking down on sites like that. I think I like that this. oversteps our boundary. I, well, now you're back on the legislation thing. No one's now, when talking he says about cracking that. Down, when he says cracking yeah. down, I think he means just saying they're evil and wrong. I think that's yeah, not a, nobody is saying that this should have been hacked and nobody's saying that it should be legislated. This is We're talking about the morality 
of the company facilitating and tempting people into something that can potentially ruin the lives of themselves, well, their partner, and potentially other, right? children. If you're against that morally, you go, well, there should be repercussions for that. Bullshit. And my, my whole point is that I'm not against this morally. I think that this would personally be what I wouldn't want to do, but I don't see any reason to be enforcing my morality in other people, and I don't think we need to be worried about these sites for that. Yeah, no these one's people, talking about enforcing no, nobody's it, and talking you keep about going back morality. to it, and it's, it, it almost just, seems like a not fair debate tactic. You know, you, you just straw man, straw man, straw man. You're constantly on this, I'm against laws that say this, or I'm against hackers being active. We all are. We all are against that, so that's not an issue. But... Perhaps it's the whiskey, and I have been drinking a little bit of whiskey this <laughs> conversation, but I'm, I guess I'm missing then the point you're making for this. I, I, felt, I felt like you were saying you're against these, but you're not. What are you saying? I'm, I'm against it, but that doesn't mean that I want to enforce repercussions on people who do it. I'm just saying I think less of the these hack? people. You know, I, I, I think less of the, the companies like exposed? Ashley Madison. Am I glad they're... <sighs> if you... If, if, I, I feel like I can root for it without... Here's you know, what, okay, being yeah, if you were making a decision on whether the, the stuff was released or not, would you, do you think it should have been released? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't we, think it should have been We're all in released. agreement here. I don't know why we're doing this circle jerk. I, we yeah. all agree it's morally wrong. <laughs> but I, Obviously, it's legally illegal. I, I want to say and, this uh, about the suicide thing. Like, okay. I, I, <laughs> if I had a site that taught you how to commit suicide, right? That like helped you increase your odds of success on this. This is your painful way to just end your life. And then I started marketing it towards where you find people that are low at the time, right? Maybe on Tumblr where they're on their like support group, you know, whatever. And then I just start infiltrating support groups with pro suicide. Here's how to do it quick and easy successfully. Um, that'd be a pretty bad thing to do. I don't know. <laughs> I'm with Kyle on this. That's yeah, the point I, mean, I have too. Like, I, I think you're very, very anti-suicide, and I think I mean, if you want to kill yourself, kill yourself. Like, like, like it's your life to live or not live. That's so, the point uh, that I hold too. That 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 comes dear to me, right? Like, is this, this is my life, and I will do with what. I don't like anyone telling me what I can do in any fucking scenario, as long as it's not affecting someone else. Just to stay yeah. out of business. I no. hear where you're coming from, and I, I like want to cheat on my wife and then kill myself. With the with the same <laughs> website, goddamn. What would that be called? What would it be called? Ashley Madison. What would it be called? What would be the name? Fuck and fuck it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know? And right, you look at that and you go me. like, "Holy fuck, this website's bad news." I but see. I don't think we should be doing it. But there, there's be like some fucking shittards are going to be using that website. There's Screw an up. aspect of me that is like counseling by nature, right? That's wired to, to help and be kind. And that guy says, "You know what? From time to time, we all get a little sad." I don't think you're making the right decision. And I bet that you'll come back and look at this later and, and agree that I was right. But are you thinking then that Ashley Madison's advertisement then is pushing past like recruiting people who are already there and are instead looking to convert people who aren't there to this? Is that where you're Of course kind of they are. That's that? what advertising is. Right. Nah, I, I, I bet. I wish there were a survey uh, that, that was something like, you know, have you cheated prior to signing up for your Ashley Madison account? I'd like to know that because I bet like 70% of the dudes who signed up for these accounts and women, I, I bet I'd love to see the demographics on that. I bet they're public now. But I bet uh, I bet a lot of these people were cheating before. Cheated or considering. I bet you if you add that component into it, because I don't think you go to a, especially the way that Ashley Madison is marketed, I don't think you go there if you weren't considering that already, and, right? It's not like a surprise. Things? You didn't stumble across it go, oh, shit. Oh, they, wow, this is really interesting. I bet this really applies to me. You start well, with the No, I, I disagree so. there. What if you're working 60 hours a week in an unfulfilled marriage? You just don't have time to go out to bars to start uh, an affair <laughs> traditionally. So you, you see that so ad and you just take a, you take a, a – you're just inquisitive. You look in there, see what it is, and then it does facilitate you doing that. Not saying that it's – you know, different situations are different. We've already established that, but I do think that that definitely happens. That's why it's an online service. For nineteen dollars, they had a full deletion package where they would completely delete your they account and all your that. records, and they will take your nineteen dollars, but they won't, won't fully delete, delete your, your records. Yeah, exactly. nope. nope. Really, it's all out there. Yep. Yeah, they don't yeah. delete your records. They just make mm -hmm. them invisible to the the users. They keep all your shit. Oh, I, I, it's I, fucked up. That's like they're saving them for blackmail later. The hack. <laughs> exactly. the hackers, no one else can fuck you, but we can. The, you know? the hack. That's the only reason to do it. The hackers said that um, something like 96% of the people on the site were men. Doesn't surprise me. That's not surprising. Yeah. I I was surprised. If a woman wants to cheat, she just goes out and she goes to a bar for 15 minutes. It's easy for a woman to cheat. 
Yeah. Okay. That that it's, that makes sense of it for me. Here's why you probably yet. think, yeah, women are more desirable. It's easier for a woman to get laid. That's probably what you thought. But that's not that's not all there is. There's more to it than that. Men are more likely to be like, fuck it, I don't care, and sleep with a married woman than a woman would be to be like, eh, fuck it, I don't care, and sleep with a married man. It's much more difficult for the married man to go out and have an affair. Ashley Madison was providing a wonderful service to over almost 40 million men. and uh, 40 and I, million. That's 40 awful. million? <laughs> Wasn't it like, was it 28 million or 38 million accounts they leaked? It was something. Maybe million. that's okay. a proportion. What's the, popula- what's, what's the number of men in the U.S. right now? Do we know? Something like 160 million. million. Yeah. Jesus. Seriously, it was 40 million men and 160 million men in the U.S.? One in four? I'm sure it's not just a U.S. service. No, it's not. Oh, that's interesting. Very popular site. I, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's probably better than Tinder, huh? Like, I, I feel like... Dude. D- DTF. I... <laughs> I, 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 obviously, I didn't date in the Tinder era. Yeah, three kids. They don't but care. T- I didn't either. I'm Tinder not... seems, like, really neat. Sounds really good, doesn't it? Yeah, just that <laughs> like swipe of... left, swipe right thing. Like you can seriously just approve and disapprove like a dozen. Win- How many choices are there when you have? Like, if I were to just fire up Tinder, if hypothetical twenty-year-old college student me was was just to pop on Tinder. Is it location based? Is that how? Yeah, that it's works? location yeah, based. Sure. So if you were on a college campus, but you are a, a, you'd be a young male. So there would be such a preponderance of your demographic, you probably wouldn't get much attention. I don't know if Kyle's ever done it, but I have friends who have used it, and they say it's it's just, for the most part, a sausage fest, and the girls they have met from it are mainly gross. Scott runs that shit. Scott runs that shit and, and gets so much pussy, it's outright. He used to use plenty of fish. Uh-huh. Uh, we travel from city to city, and not it, it, it seemed like when we go to a major city, there was usually a girl there that would like to meet me. Um, for some reason or another. And, and so I never really had a problem finding ladies uh, if we were traveling around. And we traveled a lot to all the major cities, driving around road trips. But Scott, you know, didn't really have a million people on his Facebook or anything, so it was a little more difficult for him. So he'd hop on plenty of fish, and I'd watch him. He'd be over there fishing. <laughs> <laughs> he just, and he, he'd do it fast, and he's, he's like copy-pasting the same lines, just boom, 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 picture, 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 boom, 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 hitting like dozens of women as we're getting close to the town. He's looking 150 miles into our future, <laughs> and he's hitting on those women. He's, he's looking forward to tonight. And I don't, like, I don't know whether to be city, extremely impressed or a little disgusted or both because, I mean, like in some sense, the dating game is that, right? It's a numbers game. You meet mm-hmm. the fucking people, and sooner or later you meet someone you're compatible with. They like you. You like them. Fair enough. You can do that electronically and do that 10 or 100 times more efficiently. Should we judge? At I mean, least. At some level, I think like, not. I guess if you, I don't know, you get to control everything about it. It seemed really impressive to me to watch him operate plenty of fish, and and he'd be fishing, and he'd often like reel one in that night, like he'd have some <laughs> at the hotel or provided something. there's no deception. I think this is just pure wonderfulness. Yeah, no deception. Yeah, right. it, yeah. It, it, it seemed like there wasn't a lot of catfishing going on uh, last time he was talking about Tinder. What is catfishing? When someone goes in there and pretends to be a hot chick just to gotcha. like fuck with you or be lame and like I don't know, jerk off to like pictures of you, maybe like I don't know. Sure. Um, it, and some pe- people catfish for their own sexual pleasure. People catfish just for shits and giggles. Um, all the above, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But, but yeah, I've seen him be incredibly effective with Tinder uh, at, at, over the last uh, year or so. Loomis or was good. 